Hi guys, Nick here with BitGalaxis bringing you a new video on 3D game development and today I wanted to show you how you can use Ken Shape to quickly build some prototype models for your game and in this video you can see that I have a setup with a scene in Unity 3D and I've got a bunch of buildings that I built here and a majority of these buildings in this scene I built within about 45 minutes including getting the coloring done and things like that. So. A couple things to note about KenShape is it's just a simple tool where you take 2D drawings and you can convert them to 3D models. And let's go ahead and just jump into KenShape to show you how this works. Okay, so here I am in KenShape. I made a previous video on this tool from Kenny. Uh, if you want to watch that to get more information on some details about how it works, uh, watch that video. But to start out, um, I'm going to go ahead and pick a 32 by 32 canvas. What I also do in KenShape is I change the configuration so that my UI scale is 1.5. So if you have this and you don't see the buttons are as big as mine, change that UI scale to 1.5. That seems to work best for me, but you set it to whatever your preference is. So in KenShape, the way I build these buildings is I kind of just start out with a door because that's kind of the framework with which I'm working around. And with a door, I just make it two by three. So another note I want to make about when building in KenShape is if you're going to export these models into Unity, the point where the ground is is actually below this bottom pixel here below the crosshair. So I actually, if I set this here, the middle of my model or the point where my model is going to set the ground or the pivot point is going to be uh, basically this uh, cross point one pixel below the actual crosshair within the drawing. So I make a door, right? And then after that, I go ahead and make bit of a building around the door. So let's just make it a simple shed, right? So I've got a four by four building and then I want to put a roof on it. Easy enough to do. I'll draw the roof up here and you've got these other shapes you can use here. I'm going to put one on the side and I'm going to press space bar to rotate it twice and put another one on the side. Then the other aspect of Kenny shape or Ken shape is that we have a depth to it. So we have drawing depth. You can see your final model, which is right now very flat, and then we can export it. We'll talk about the export settings in just a minute, but let's go back to our drawing. So in the drawing, we have our general shape, but I want to now make this have a little bit of depth to it. So since this is a four by four building, I'm going to go ahead and make it four by four in depth as well. Um, but I don't want my door to be four because it's just going to be setting out there the same width. So I'm going to make that three. So it kind of gets set in a little bit. And now you can see I have a door. Now the roof. I'm going to go ahead and make it five since this is a five by five roof effectively and I need to fix it because I accidentally went over a couple of these pixels here. Now you can see on the model here we've got this four by four model with a five by five roof on top and the door goes in a little bit. One other thing you can do though is if you want your buildings to be wider than the eight by eight is you can also expand your scale here and this is the scale of your depth so you can go to 400% uh, which is pretty crazy to me. I would say at most maybe 150%, but you know, if you have some unique need for it, um, set it to whatever you need it to be. So we've got our drawing, our depth, we can modify our model here. But the last step then when we have this is to export. Exporting is going to be really simple, but I'm going to tell you what, how to do this and why I do it this way. Um, and this is because we want to export to Unity and we also want to give different colors in Unity. But what we can do now is we can say export format, I'm going to make it FBX and I'm going to have the texture be unwrapped. And then we're just going to say export and pick a file location for that export. Once we have it exported, then um, we now have that model. We can pull that into Unity with the FBX and we'll do that in just a minute. But um, what you're going to get with that is you're going to have a folder with a model and in that same folder, you're going to have another folder called textures, and that's going to have the image or the unwrapped texture for your model. And we're going to use that later. We'll jump into that when we want to modify the colors. I'll show you that in a later part of the video. But here's how we can quickly prototype numerous different buildings and how I made a ton of buildings really fast. So all I did was I just kept adding on to this one building and making a different model. So now I can make like a little, I don't know, maybe just a little shop or a little hut, you know, whatever you want to call this. Um, and now I have a second model. I need to make the depth on it. So a real quick thing you can do, if you want to make them all the same, is you can click the fill tool on the depth, change this and it'll all be five. Uh, I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, I'm going to use the line tool to go ahead and fix these and make these four. And then I'm going to use 
line tool again to just make the window three. So now we have this little shop. We can export this with FBX unwrapped, and now we have a second model that we can use. Um, and now, if we want to just keep on going, we can have a third model. And what I've been doing with these is just really just making them four by four. Every little section is a four by four cube with a two by two window inside of it. And there we go. And we can just keep building on and exporting and building on and exporting and then putting roofs on them and maybe offsetting some of the roofs. Like in this case, I have a roof like this, um, but then I'll put a roof up here. And I don't like having them stick out too far, so I always do this space bar twice. Um, but you can see, we need to make our five by five. We're actually going to make this uh, four. Oh, if I could click the right button, make these four. Leave that five on the roof up top. Four here, four here. And we'll do fill. We can make these three, three, and three. And now we have basically, we went ahead and just in the matter of how many minutes are we at? We're at five minutes, 49 seconds. We have made one, two, and then three different types of buildings. If we really had just kind of cut and exported between them, we would have four. Um, but you keep on adding on over and over and over again until you get like these massive buildings with, you know, have complex structures. Um, what we could have done too is just, you know, here, oh, I did fill by accident, but um, we can just add another part to the building and now we can prototype this and we have another you know fourth fifth type of building um, and just keep adding on it gets it goes really fast and so you know and exporting itself is just export it give it a different name um, each time that takes just a few seconds so here you go in just a, a matter of minutes we have made like five different city buildings and we now have also these textures that we wrapped and we can modify those textures um, without having to use kin shape. Now, the other thing you could do though is you could just easily say, well, I wanna just go ahead and export multiple models. Well, the other easy way of doing this, this is, this is the first easy way of getting multiple different colors is you go in here, you have all these red connected uh, lines here, you just go fill them in. And then you look at your model, now you have a green, oh, green model. I need to change the depth on this, obviously. Um, and I really messed that up. Let's go ahead and do line tool. But now I have a green one. So if you want to, what you could easily do is just build the model, export it, change the color, export it, change the color, export it, and you have two or three different variants. Um, and that's one quick way of doing it. Um, and the way that I did, because I just felt like it was easier um, for me to do, and also that I have more color choices, is I went ahead and did it through paint. And I'll show you that right now okay so here i am in unity 3d and i want to take some focus to this building here and i have it selected and over here in the uh, scene hierarchy i can see that i have this building called office 12a so when you when you export these models you're going to get the model itself and then you're going to get a folder called textures and in that folder is the unwrapped texture for that model in this case I've also put this blue and green folder in here because I'm going to make some blue and green variants later on. But this Office 12A, you can see here, that's what matches it. So I can drag this Office 12A up here and it's going to use that texture. It already has that, so it doesn't really make much difference. Um, but if I go into the green folder, um, I might maybe I want to make a green version of that. Um, I think I already have a blue version of that. So let's go ahead and look at this. So I've got the blue version here, Office 12A, and I'm just going to go ahead and drag it in there. And now it's blue. So you can do that with any model. You just take this original red texture here, copy it into like your blue or green, or you can do this outside of Unity. It's probably easier that way, but you can copy this file and then you modify it. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is find the original Office 12a bitmap, or sorry, PNG file that I have saved. And I'm gonna pull that up and I'm gonna show you how you change the colors really fast uh, on these files and then apply them. So let's go to, let's go to paint. Okay, so here I am in Paint, and I have opened up that Office 12A PNG file. I'm going to zoom in a bit because these files are too small for me to click on, and I want to change this to green. So what I'm going to do, I've already copied this, so this is actually the copy of the Office 12A red, um, and I have it in a different folder, and we're going to drop that into that green folder that I had in Unity. So let's go ahead, and we're going to click 
this green color here. We're going to use the fill tool and we're just going to fill in all the green. So when you're doing this in Ken shape, it's probably a little bit faster because you can fill in the entire drawing with one stroke. Um, but maybe um, you have some custom textures you want to have. So let's say, let's say we want to use two different colors of green um, and we made a mistake or really you could even do smaller details because this is a um, higher resolution picture than the pixels are on Ken shape. Um, or maybe you want to do your own custom textures and uh, you want to make something better than what they do in Ken shape. Um, like for example, Ken shape doesn't have all these colors as well. You want to have a color. You can't get this color of green in Ken shape specifically. I think you can. I think you can customize the palette if you really wanted to. Uh, but in this case, I have what I need right here. I can make anything I want uh, at any point in time without having to worry about changing palettes or anything like that. So I've got my green file. I'm going to go ahead and save it. And then we're going to go ahead and drop that green file into Unity over here. So let me go find it on my other screen here. And I did have it. Where did I go? Okay. So now I have the green file. I'm going to drag it into the green folder here. Now I have this Office 12A. You can look at it. It's green. Don't forget, when you import these, um, one thing that's going to happen is you need to change your filter mode to point. Because if you don't, it's going to have blurry edges. In this case, I'll show you the tree. The tree here, you can see, has blurry edges because I did not change it. That's what it's going to look like. So on this green one, I went ahead and said point, no filter, apply it. And if we drag it onto our blue building, now we have a green building. And that's as easy as that. That's all you're going to do. And now we have a green building. If you look back through my models here that I built, um, when I said that it took me about 45 minutes to make all most of these, um, I'm talking like I built this Office 01 through Office 14B, which I think is a total of like 17 different buildings in a matter of 45 minutes. And that is really fast, to be honest. Like we built a ton of these. In my scene view here, you can see I also have some of these are just floating. That way I just, I wanted them to be visible behind the buildings. Um, but like I said, you can go super fast and, and you know using the depth you can see here there's some depth techniques you can use where you have some things that just stand out um, and get set in and this kind of adds a little bit of variability so from the front sometimes they maybe look a little bit boring but from the side they look a little bit more interesting now in terms of using these buildings for your final product you'll probably want to modify these a bit you can see here when Ken shape wraps these textures um, the things that stand out actually kind of get uh, you know, like this, there's a gray bar here from the side. That gray kind of carries over um, into things that get set in because it's basically just looking at it from the side, the front, um, and the back. And so sometimes there's color overlap. And that's why you see wherever there's these insets, these concave parts, there's different colors get applied uh, because of that. So they're not ideal, but you know, from my perspective, it's not a terrible thing with prototyping and these can be cleaned up and fixed later. Um, but, uh, but for the most part, you can have a really quick city setup. Uh, like I said, within an hour, you can throw something like this together, um, and it's pretty fast. And I even built, you know, this car with built-in Ken shape, this ladder, this little fence here, this tree, this uh, stoplight. Um, but all these buildings um, were built in Ken shape, and so. That's all I had for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you liked the video, hit the like button, and I hope to see you next time.